everybody, Krista here. Now that hopefully we will be getting back to some travel, with hopefully the pandemic getting better, I thought that it would be a great idea to talk about how to pack for a trip. If this is something that you need to dust off those cobwebs and remember how you can get ready and effectively pack for an upcoming trip, that's what we're going to be talking about today. If you're new here, I'm Krista Smith, and I'm on a mission to help ambitious women thrive as leaders by sharing what I've learned and am still learning as an executive, a lifelong optimizer, and a beauty school wannabe. Let's get into it. First, my main rule in packing for a trip, no matter how long the trip is, is to pack in a carry-on only. I learned this a few years ago when I went on several European trips that were long, several weeks long. And what I learned is that no matter how long the trip, I can pack enough clothes and then rinse them out or do laundry. And it turns out to be much more efficient and you have a much higher probability of arriving with your luggage if you carry it on, at least on the way there. Now, if you need to, or if you want to check the luggage on the way back, that's fine. Do whatever you want on the way back. But for me, if I'm on travel, I want to know that I'm going to have my luggage when I get there. Also, it's just much more easy to maneuver a small bag that you can easily pull behind you or wear on your back rather than an enormous suitcase. The main way to pack light is to limit your shoes. Generally, what I will do is that I will wear my running shoes and then pack one other pair of shoes, no matter how long I'm going for, what events I'm going for. And that pair that I pack generally tends to be black flats because they go with most things. My next rule is to pack only clothes that coordinate with each other. My third rule is to pack dark colors and solids that all go together because if I'm going to be limiting my clothes, I need to be able to make several different outfits out of just a small group of clothes. And then finally, I look to pack in layers. I have a couple trips here coming up. One that's going to be interesting to pack for because I need to pack for two different climates and it includes an overseas trip. I thought that it would be fun to share with you both what I am packing and then in a follow-up video how I'm packing it using packing cubes. This video will focus on the what, the next video will focus on the how. For the what am I going to pack for an eight-day trip that starts out going to a warm climate. I'm going to be going to Dallas for a couple days and then I need to move on to a trip to the United Kingdom where it'll be much colder. That one's for work. The trip to Dallas is for personal. So I'm gonna to need to address a lot of different clothing situations. I'll start out with eight tops. Now I can get sweaty and I like to be able to wear a fresh top every day. And most of my tops are, can be condensed pretty small and rolled up so they don't take up a whole lot of room. Out of those eight tops, I'm going to have five solid t-shirts, probably black and white, maybe one color, two blouses. All of the blouses that I own are polyester. They're easily washed. They don't need to be ironed. I can ball them up in a suitcase and pull them out and they look good that minute. And then finally, the eighth top is going to be a thin, solid sweater. This will allow for layering and it'll allow for a cooler temperatured inside work environment. Next, as far as bottoms, I'm going to wear one pair of pants, neutral colored, gray or black, and then I'm gonna pack a pair of black pants and I'm gonna pack a pair of shorts and just plan to re-wear. I'll make sure to have fresh undies for the eight days. And then as far as outerwear, I'm going to bring a thin puffy coat because that can squish down to absolutely almost nothing, but it does help to keep me warm, both in case there is cold weather in the UK and then also on the plane. 
because I tend to get cold inside, especially in airports and on the plane. And then also a scarf. And the scar scarf will serve the purpose both of changing up outfits and of creating additional warmth in case I need it. In addition to the coat and the scarf, I'm going to bring my toiletries, of course. And in the next video, I will show you how I pack up my toiletries. I will make the room to bring a plain pillow. I have an outstanding neck pillow that I use for sleeping on the plane that I absolutely wouldn't leave home without. And then I will also make sure that I carry on the plane the things that I need for a long flight. Of course, that will include COVID masks, hand sanitizer, and those safety type of things. But in addition, I will have the entertainment and the comfort things that I need, which includes an eye mask, earplugs, AirPods. I also like to throw in a set of earbuds that can plug in with one of the normal plugs, not a phone plug, in case that's the only thing that the plane has and I want to access some of the on-plane entertainment that can only be accessed by plugging in an actual set of earbuds. Then I make sure to download whatever content I want to listen to or read on my phone and or my Kindle and throw both of those things in. I will be bringing a computer and make sure to have anything that I need downloaded on that computer because I want to minimize any kind of paper, of course, that I need to carry because of the weight. Finally, I will make sure to have that coat that I'm packing available on the plane so that I can use it as a blanket or an additional kind of comfort pillow for adjusting for comfort. And then I'll make sure to have a small toiletry packet in my smaller carry-on bag that I can use to refresh once I land in the UK. And what will be in that is a little bit of makeup, a toothbrush, toothpaste, and probably a hairbrush, but nothing more elaborate than that. Another thing that I do to try to be comfortable on the plane is to reserve a seat by the window if possible. That way I can lean against it to sleep. The flight that I am taking over to the UK is a red eye, so it'll be overnight and hopefully I will be able to maximize adjusting to the time change by sleeping on that flight on the way over. That's my plan for packing. Tune in next week to see how I use packing cubes to stay organized and to be able to fit those things easily into a very light carry-on. I hope that adventure and travel are in your future soon and that you have a great week. Talk to you soon. Yeah.